Hello, and welcome to NetNanny Mobile for Android. This video tutorial will show you how to log into the web based NetNanny Mobile administration console and make some changes to the devices that you've installed the NetNanny Mobile software on. You can access the web based administration console by opening a web browser and going to admin.netnanny.com. You can do this from any device that has a web browser and internet access, it doesn't need to be a device that's running the software. Once you get to this web page, you can log in by using the email address and password that you established as the NetNanny Mobile Administrator account, or the email address and password you used when you purchased the NetNanny Mobile software. After logging into the console, you'll be taken to this home page where you can see alerts, reporting information, summaries, and we're going to go to the Devices tab here. The Devices tab shows you all the devices that you've installed with the NetNanny Mobile software. Uh, these devices are represented by the hardware name. You can see here by the icons or the pictures that they are tablets or phones. And below we can see the associated user or profile for each device. It's really easy to change information about the device and make it easier to understand or a recognizable name by clicking on the device. Over here on the left you'll notice I, ha I can change the display name. I'm gonna, I'll change this to Jake's phone. Below you can also get information about the model number, the phone number of the device, the network that it's on, the version of Android, and then the last time that this device actually checked in with the NetNanny service. I'll go ahead and click Save here. And now we can see a recognizable name here as Jake's phone for this device. At the same time, I can easily change the profile or user associated with this phone by clicking on the little gear. I'll click Change User. Here, I'll change the user to Jake for example and click change. Now we can see Jake's phone with the user Jake applied to it and the last time that the phone checked in with the service is represented right here. I can easily add seats to my license or buy additional seats for my NetNanny mobile license by clicking here. This will take me to the shopping cart where I can add more seats and add more devices. I can also get information about my subscription or my trial by looking up here and seeing the name of the product and the date that my current subscription will expire. And that's kind of an overview of how you can manage your mobile devices, get information about which devices you have it installed on. And lastly, I'd like to point out that if you remove the software from one of your devices, you can easily reclaim the seat or the available license by just removing it from the admin console. And you can do that by clicking on the gear and clicking the remove device button. That will now free up the license for this NetNanny mobile software and you could use it on a different device if you choose to do so. That's an overview of managing your devices. Thanks for using NetNanny mobile for Android. NetNanny. Complete online peace of mind.